Music therapy, oh, I think it had been going for a good 10 years or more in the States. I'm not exactly sure when it started in the States. And I think it was a little bit ahead in England, in Britain particularly, um, the Guildhall and then Mary Priestley's work. So this was very, in Europe, the influence was very psychodynamic. So it was very connected with the Freudian psychotherapeutic model. And so music was expressed and then it was almost analyzed in terms of psychotherapeutic theory as an expression of the unconscious and then the conscious, right? Um, whereas in the States, it was very behavioral. And it, there was a journal that came out and it was very structured. I mean, the, what Kerry was describing about the CAP program was almost 180 degrees opposite to those early days of music therapy education in the States, which was much more tied to education. Like many music therapists got a, a degree in music education slash music therapy. So there was a focus in, on psych and special ed by and large. Not so much on gerontology. Like we really became the, the area, I would say the central area, where um, there was a lot of work happening with music therapy, with gerontology. And I think it, it might partly be because of our large population that's always been that case, you know, with being the warmer part of the country that, that traditionally we've had more seniors living here. It's going to be a way that people would get positions. And I think Valley View was really instrumental in all of that in setting a tone and that that Valley View became a central place for other facilities, seniors facilities, to to kind of measure themselves. Are they doing good programming? Do they have a good wide variety of personnel in their facilities? 